students at Union University will forever remember February 5, 2008. Not because it was Super Tuesday, but because of the F4 tornado that wreaked havoc on the campus they all call home. The Union family became closer as they struggled to piece their lives back together. Two days later, these are their stories. But again, Mike, as you said, that storm has tracked now. It's crossed I-40 and it's tracking a little bit more. So uh, the, the southern corner of the city is... Uh, before the storm, Tuesday, like around 4.30, uh, me and my friend, we went out running. And, you know, like we ran a couple of miles and we get back to our room and we were getting ready to, to take a shower. But he challenged me to play, you know, racquetball. So we went to the court and we played racquetball. I lose every game. All of a sudden, the sudden, you know, first the lights just start, you know, start crazy, you know, just, and then the big one, you know, just the lights went off, come back and just went off. So all of a sudden, all you can see is dark and I heard this noise coming. After that, I couldn't hear anything, you know, I just had, like, the windows just shatter, and they just throw me against the wall, you know, smash me against the wall, and everything starts to fall down. <laughs> it's not a good experience. But thank God, you know, we're all alive and stuff, you know. You know, maybe. I just did the normal protocol I was told to do uh, for RA buildings, you know, just when the siren goes off, go upstairs, get those guys to go downstairs, make sure they're safe. And uh, we just, I just turned around and just yelled, everyone run. And we ran and we dove into the, the little hallway between the RD's office and his spare bedroom. Um, there was about nine of us in there. And then my roommate, Matt, said, I gotta go shut that door. Um, it didn't close. Um, it definitely did not sound like a train, like people said, it came by surprise out of nowhere. Um, and then it, all of a sudden it was over. Well, you know, as an RA, my first reaction was just to make sure that my girls were safe. And so I shut the door to the commons bathroom and the windows kind of blew in. And so my first reaction was just thanking the Lord that we were all alive. And, and I knew every one of my girls were safe. But, uh, so I guess that was my initial reaction. And then after that, you know, when I opened the door, I saw some some people that had come in off of the street that needed some help. They were in the car. And I'm a nursing major. I'm a senior. So my first reaction then was just to help them. Really, the only definitive thing that we know is that as long as we're able to help, we will. And um, we certainly have that opportunity since we don't have classes right now. And we're just taking things, you know, a day at a time. I, I don't live far from here. I'm, I'm about an hour away. And so... My parents are gracious and said, hey, now that we know that you're safe, go do what you can. As some students return home for the next couple of weeks, they prepare to leave their belongings behind, looking ahead to February 18th when classes are expected to resume. In the following days, volunteers, alumni, faculty, and staff will blanket Union's campus, aiding in the reconstruction process. The bond of Union's community will only grow stronger in the days to come.